Good morning, everyone. So, what have we got on today? Uh, we've got some of the more, more second cross shorn lambs. We're getting them in and we're going to take them home. Um, this is down at another property. We're going to take them home and drench them and then put them on the loosen at home, which is going to be pretty good because it's the first sheep we've had on the loosen. So, it'll be interesting to see how they go. Dad's just bringing them in now. I brought the truck down. So we've got to take them home to drench them because we've had about uh, over 200 mil in the past week and the yards down at this property are waterlogged and it's just, yeah, there's no no way we could really use them. So we just, we've got to take them home to put them on the loose and anyway, so that's what we're going to do, truck them back. Sit. 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 So we've got them all back and now there's two different lots of sheep in this mob there's first cross and second cross lambs so we need to draft them off um, the second cross lambs are the ones that you saw in the previous video um, their, their fathers are polled orsets and their mums are ball lester over merino we just got to split them up and um, the second cross ones will go on the loosen it can be pretty hard to tell the difference between the two when you're not um, when you're not looking at them all the time like it's, it's taken me what it takes you a while to just to be able to recognize the two but uh, you can see these two their first cross lambs that mob that little three mob there their first cross lambs and then these ones these are all second cross these one that's the second cross there you can see the difference in the wool for starters um, and they're just a different shape sheep a lot more leg in these ones a bit more fat on these lambs So we're just going to weigh one of the weather, one of the lambs to see if we're drenched to the heaviest lamb. So we're just going to weigh one and, and see what they weigh. The other yards would have been full of water, wouldn't they, Dad? The other yards would have been full of water. These yards are, are wet, but they're not as bad as the ones down at the other place. Yeah. 
off they go back to their paddock they're just the weather lambs those ones so the second cross lambs they're the ones that'll go on the loosen and the, the ewes the sisters to these ones the first cross ewes i think we'll, we'll start giving them a bit of feed and trying to bulk them up a little bit so yeah those weather lambs that we just took down at another place we'll grow them out to um hoggets so over a year old and then we'll sell them because they're worth more money like that and we don't really have the feed to finish them at the moment this year's while there's lots of feed there's not a lot of guts in it and not enough good um not enough goodness in the plant to, to finish the lambs off you know they're growing well but they just don't get that cover over the backbone that um that they need to, to sell really well so and hopefully that's what the loosen's going to do to these um second cross lambs the tops of these second cross lambs it's just going to give them that little bit of an edge and that little bit of cover over the backbone to to bump the price up a little bit so while I was away, Dad just drenched these um, second cross lambs. We're just going to put them in a paddock close by. There was two, this, these were down at the other property. We're going to get the ones in from the home property and draft the best lamb, the tops out of both of them. And then that, that, those are what go on the, on the loose. And... Anywhere, no destination. Disappeared for every day that the world makes us feel like giving up. We'll make our own luck. You guys alright? Alrighty, so just drenched the first cross years now. These so these ones will be future mums to second cross lambs, these ones over here. So these ones will grow up and they'll be joined to a pole dorset ram and it'll produce that lamb which is pretty cool to think about so these are ones we bred ourselves uh, we also bought uh, i think it was about 140 from uh, two different places but yeah these ones here we, we bred ourselves so we're going to try and pump a bit of feed into them and get them growing well because this stage here is uh, probably one of the most important stages when they when they're lambs trying to get them big and fat if they get a stunt stunted when they're lambs like this it sort of puts them back for the rest of their life so we'll try and keep them healthy and and keep them on growing really really well so i'll just let these let these girls up out of the mud because it's one thing that i think a lot of people have been struggling with this year's foot abscesses and so that's one of the contributing factors to foot abscess because it's always the feet are always wet all the time so we don't want any mud and 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 other crap getting up in their hooves. So we'll let them out. Sort of late last year, it was pretty well just standard practice for us to every time we ran sheep into the yards to run them through a zinc sulfate foot bath. Every sheep that came into yards, we just did it. They had a foot at where they were having trouble with foot abscesses or not. It was just too much of a risk to bring them into yards when it was wet. Then send them back out thinking they were all good and then a few days later, a heap of them getting foot sore and and I'm having to run them back through a foot bath again. So just let them up there out of the mud. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Thank you. You're a fool, Sonny. Alrighty, so I've finished drenching and, and vaccinating and, and stuff and Dad's just bringing back the other mob of second gross lambs so he can get draft the tops out of them. Um, in the morning, um, I've just got to go to footy training now so um, we'll see you in the morning.
Alrighty, so it's the next day. We actually ended up um, crutching about 150 merino lambs this morning and drenching or needling them and then drenching another 100 ewes. Um, and now we've just got the rest of these second cross lambs in to, to draft the tops out of. So I didn't feel much there this morning. I thought the video was sort of away from the point of the video a bit, so I didn't just filmed a little bit. Um, I'll just put that in somewhere. But um, yeah, we're just gonna draft the tops out of these ones, about 160, and then they'll get, they'll get a six in one. We'll get them drafted off. I'll see, I might need dad's help. We'll have to wait for dad. I'll see how I go with these dogs, see how good they are. But um, we'll have a go at it anyway. So loosen, it's a good, it's a good finishing crop. So what I'm aiming, what I'm looking for when I'm we're drafting them is land with a fair bit of size, and you know nearly, nearly ready to go, nearly enough fat cover, but not quite. They just need a bit of finishing off. Where did you come from? Push them up. Go back, man. Hello. Sit. 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 Alrighty, so we're just going to give them um, a dose of multi mint. got zinc and magnesium and selenium in it. And then this one is a six in one. So this one will stop uh, pulvic kidney and grass tetany. Um, what's the other one? Tetanus. Just a bunch. It's just going to help them. Um, give them the best opportunity they can to, to grow on the loosen, so. Let's go. We don't need a rainbow or fork over fields. We'll open the sky, make the clouds disappear. For every day that the world makes us feel like giving up, we'll make our own luck. about 140 on here we worked out at, at about 100 uh, 20 lambs to the hectare so and there's about there's probably about there's 10 hectare paddock but with the little bit little wet areas that um that didn't come up as well we sort of said about eight and a half hectares so we sort of wanted 160 but we couldn't quite um there probably wasn't quite enough that we didn't have to come on here yet so in the next few weeks we might bring a few more down and put on here but there's um plenty of feed here which is great it's um looking really healthy and and good and the lambs are already having a chew on it there now which is good so i'll come down here tomorrow and make sure that they're they're going all right but um no it'll be really interesting to see how they go on here 
see how it all works. We, this is like this is the first time we've ever done loosened for ourselves, so we don't really, you know, it's still still learning all about it. So there yeah, they are over there. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of another video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Alrighty, see you later.